Hi guys, my name is Jenna Garrett and I am completing my final internship at a um, acute psychiatric hospital um, in Franklin, Tennessee. So the average stay is seven to ten days and um, it is populations ranging from adolescents to older adults, um, mood disorders, thought disorders. So I am with a lot of populations and on different units every day. Um, the most difficult situation that I dealt with during um, the internship this semester, well, there's a couple. Um, I think the most difficult part um, is separating your emotions and um, from what you read and what you see. Um, read as in people, um, especially adolescent charts and what you see. Um, I wasn't prepared to actually um, see the trauma that these kids um, go through and are going through, such as um, rope burns on their neck from um, trying to hang themselves and just open wounds all over their body from self-harming or, you know, different... Um, different wounds on them from trying to kill themselves and also doing the assessments hearing the trauma and um that is going on it's really hard um to hear um it's really hard not to bring it home and to not like either be angry for them and um just feel sad you kind of feel yourself carrying a burden that is not yours to carry um so really separating home life in there because I have to keep myself um, mentally aware and mentally healthy in order to provide the the counseling and the, and the rec therapy that I can to them. I need to make sure I'm not um, taking anything home with me, if that makes sense. So that has been the most difficult situation that I'm still dealing with. I'm learning how to do that better, how to... Um, how to just read it um, or hear it and validate it, um, empathize, but really just not letting it um, sit with me. Um, and honestly, I have to go to my coping skills, which is my faith and my spirituality to really um, to really deal with um, all the emotions and everything going on. It's emotionally draining and it's a really intense environment very intense environment and another difficult situation I think was having an adolescent um teen who well adolescent means teen but having an adolescent who um was psychotic so psychotic having um auditory and visual hallucinations actively um psychotic psychosis I believe it was major depression with psychotic features was his official diagnosis from um, synthetic marijuana and he thought everybody was demons and he actually attacked um, another patient while um, I was counseling and debriefing um, the RT group. It was my first adolescent group and we were having such a great discussion on pressures and stressors in, in life. We just played Jenga and related that to life stress and pressure and that happened and it was a really intense moment. Um, and just having to deal with um, anything can happen at any time and um, just keeping focus on what needs to get done like moving the kids to one side of the room okay evacuating the room okay this and that and it actually winded up that he, I got slammed in the crossfire trying to protect a child that he thought was a demon um, he was restrained after that but um, it's crazy how your instincts come out and I was really proud of how calm and how uh, focused I was. That was a difficult situation but it also was a huge confidence booster that I can handle this environment and I actually love um, mental health. So those are the two most difficult things and I think it's always going to be a difficult challenge especially the emotions part. Uh, what is something you learned and are taking away from it? So something I learned definitely is the heavying, the heavy counseling portion of rec therapy. Um, so being an online student, um, 
I don't know if it has to do with that, but I didn't really see there's a lot of functional interventions and like they briefed on adventure therapy and you know I have the rec therapy um, techniques and interventions that brushes on counseling and active listening skills but I feel like there has to be a more in-depth counseling portion for um, the mental health population because that is a big part like I was so surprised how heavy counseling was um, incorporated with the activity intervention. That's all it is. So um, having to learn that and learn how to basically go on my own and read articles from the uh, rec therapy journal and like go back and actually absorb the counseling techni technique in a heavier setting, I had to do. So I basically feel like I took a class on my own doing all that just so I can um, feel confident enough to um, counsel about stress and pressure, counsel about um, expectations or about um, about boundaries, which is big, um, counseling about barriers in the community. Like I, I feel like a lot of our textbook was um, functional intervention and for people with um, a physical disability and not so much a mental disability. Um, and that's just my personal opinion. Um, but it was, that was, I'm so grateful because I feel like I've gained so much knowledge from this internship on the counseling part and how um, how easy it is to correlate an activity intervention um, into that and how I'm making up my own uh, rec therapy programs with the counseling attached to it. So I definitely want to stay in the mental health field. I love it. Um, I've already applied to three different jobs. I'm sitting for my test in May the May 9th to 17th window. Um, so I'm, I've been studying for the past few months. I just want to get in and just, you know, absorb myself into that environment. So this is a longer video than I anticipated, but I hope um, that uh, you got some feedback on my experience and I'm excited to uh, hear your guys' experience too. Thank you.